What it do, E World crisscrossing wires back again with another video, just another little discussion. Uh, previously, I posted a video, it wasn't much of anything, just uh, basically some highlights of the beast uh, doing what the beast does best, uh, trying to go fast in traffic and up and down this road here without getting caught by the police obviously and uh that's why we got pedals oh by the way reason why i don't have my chain on my uh bike is because uh you see these bolts right here that i have going through my torque plates and uh this aluminum mount uh for my mud guard uh the bolts are switched over to the last time were too long so when uh, I tightened them all the way it actually went through the back there as you can see that bolt right there is awfully close it's like a frog hair from not touching it but the last bolt actually crushed my free wheel so it's very hard to you turn it it will turn you hear it but uh yes it's obviously uh damaged and i bought another free wheel uh but i wasn't paying attention to uh the dropout size or just how wide the new free wheel was and although it fit the hub and everything fine uh it was too wide for my dropout so uh i just haven't bothered to put another one on but i will because uh the main reason for having bike with pedals on it is so you can tell the police it is legally a bicycle uh now i know you guys going to talk about power and all that but uh operable pedals meaning you can pedal your bike all right now technically I still got pedals on my bike, but as long as the chain's not on there, that's not operable. But I could argue that down that my chain popped off on my ride or whatever, whatever. But that being said, yeah, I know I need to fix that. Okay, now back to what I was talking about. Uh, anyway, look at that stink bug. I was talking about, I posted some highlight clips of the beast doing speed. Now, uh, that video was titled uh, BAC 8000 or Far Driver. Now, reason why I posted that video, because a guy had made a comment on one of my videos, were like, uh, you need to get a Far Driver. Believe me, you won't be disappointed. Uh, sir, let me tell you this. For one thing, I have a Far Driver. I don't use it. Uh, I'm putting it on the build. Now, that being said, obviously, I don't feel like anything is wrong with the far driver. Far drivers are great. They are very good controllers. However, uh, when it comes down to far driver and ASI, in my opinion... ASI is way better than Far Driver in terms of its software and not just software, hardware, hardware as well uh, in terms of the components inside that controller, the uh, quality of MOSFETs and just the quality of the uh, power stages and everything in the ASI is far superior to far driver in my opinion mainly on the software side of things uh because um you can just do so much with asi and there's so many features not only that there's a lot of app integration and stuff like that gle for one uh i love gle uh, integration which comes with the you know the uh, variable e-brake and the app and all that 
even though I use Kilowatt, which is a third party app uh, that was created by this guy named Dirk, uh, that has, you know, a little better features than GLE and looks better and I like it a whole lot better. Blah, 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 blah. Now, Far Driver has an app, uh, uh, you know, I just don't like it as much. And here's another thing I want to tell you guys. When you are setting your parameters in your app for your controller, that is all you're doing is setting your parameters. Why guys consistently talk about uh, their controller or, you know, their apps or whatever are easy to tune. It's easy to tune their controller. <laughs> You're not tuning when you are setting parameters, all right? Setting parameters is not the same as tuning, all right? Let's get that straight. And 99.9% .9 of everyone does not have backdoor access to do some actual tuning in the ASI as far as the deep uh, stuff goes, you know? Um, you can do a lot in backdoor and I mean there's a million gazillion things you can do in backdoor but a lot of stuff is off limits to the average person consumer or whatever you know and guys with dealer access uh, you know people like that have a deeper access where they can do a lot more all right now that being said like i said another reason why i like asi because of what you can actually do and another thing features like field weakening field weakening in asi is is leaps and bounds better than the field weakening in a far driver I guarantee you, if you get a far driver controller with the same spec as far as DC line amps, input amps going in the controller, and the phase amps coming out, that that ASI is going to perform way better than that far driver all day, every day. Not only that, when I'm talking about performance, uh, just how smooth the throttle is and you know everything is just so much crispier and better you're not going to beat ASI in my opinion uh, in terms of functionality and the smoothness of it now I mean of course you can go next level with the high end vest controllers and yes basically asi is on the same level as vest so that's just how good asi is you can't say the same thing about far drive now it's basically like this yes they are fast cars just like they're fast bikes uh it would be like comparing a ferrari to a dodge now don't get it twisted goddamn dodge hellcats and all that they hella fast they muscle cars but when it comes to the luxury part of things and you know like the luxury side uh it's not the same experience so that's what i'm saying as far as asi the luxury the level of of everything that you can do with asi and far driver they on two different levels and then i mean the price alone uh tells you that they're not in the same level as far as uh components and stuff now all right we don't even have to say asi and far driver but th to me the only reason that me myself will use a far driver is because i'm going to do a build with high voltage now that's my only thing with asi is that they have uh it locked at 21s depending on what controller you get sometimes uh the older ones the older ones can go to 21s some, some of the newer ones are locked at 20s uh i've seen you know i guess it just depends on uh which you know what year 
of manufacturers you got and then I mean sometimes it's in the software too I, I'm not sure uh, which one I'm pretty sure that software locked though but anyway uh, reason for that is because uh, the ASI just has so much current flow they know people would be blowing shit up if you were able to run those at high voltage too and they don't I guess they don't want the problems all right now like I said far driver some of their controllers not all of them uh, are capable of high voltage now when we got talk about high voltage for those that you don't know of for those of you that don't know I'm sure all the experienced guys know higher voltage controllers can produce a higher RPM which in turns will give you a higher top speed when it comes down to the electronics and physics of this whole thing higher voltage enables you to achieve a higher RPM okay all day long so when you go from 72 volts to 96 volts on the top end your bike is going to be faster make no mistake about that now on the flip side of that higher current higher current gives you that massive torque torque is needed for fast acceleration the more current flow the more torque the more acceleration you have now can you have both absolutely you can have high voltage and high current and if you can achieve that then you have a monster because you have monster acceleration along with monster top end the reason why in most e-bike applications you it's it's kind of hard to do both because we are limited to the amount of battery compartment storage you know at the end of the day these are e-bikes and it all comes everything revolves around the battery you know even though the controller and the motor are looked at as you know the power plant honestly the power plant of an e-bike is the battery okay because without the battery and the power that battery can supply you've got nothing now, like I said, as far as e-bikes not having a large amount of com battery compartment, you have to pick and choose. Do you want a battery that's capable of high voltage or high current? Because you're either going to have to have more cells in series to get you that high voltage or more cells in parallel to get you that high current. Now, like I said, because of size restrictions, most of the time you can't have both. If you wanted high voltage, you would have something like a 32S pack with 30P, 32 cells in series, 30 in parallel. You got massive voltage and massive current. So most of the time, we only are limited to maybe 340, 380 cells, uh, you know, and that's pushing it. That's a very large battery compartment, but uh, when you break that down as the series parallel, how many cells you can have, like I said, a little hard to do both. And uh, even more harder in like Surons with the way those batteries are situated. That's the only downfall with Surons is you can't go but so crazy on the battery unless you want to make it, you know, have a top tank and all that and be, you know, have to change that cover and all that stuff to put a bigger battery in there. Uh, on the flip side of that, that's the good part about Surons. They're very lightweight. And why is lightweight important? Because if you're racing, power to weight means everything. The heavier the bike, the slower it's going to be, or the harder, the more power it's going to take to get that thing moving. You know, the lighter it is, the less power it would take. And, uh, you know, you'd be haul assing. But there's consequences to that, too. A lighter bike at high speed is going to be, uh, you know, 
all over the place and a heavy bike is going to be nice and planted so you know uh, we have to make choices uh, with these e-bikes and choose what's best for us anyway I've been running my mouth long enough but yeah at the end of the day the argument is mainly uh, current versus voltage and I gave you the reasons why and that's the only reason I would go with far driver when I'm trying to do a high voltage thing but as long as I'm about acceleration and you know torque that ASI man we talking 840 phase amps 450 DC line amps uh, we talking halified uh, acceleration too much that you can't launch full power because you're going to uh, loop out. And uh, so much that even if somebody takes off before you, you're going to catch them if the race is long enough. You know what I mean? You can't race a little short distance with a guy that can get out the hole on you. But if you got enough room to catch his ass, you're going to catch him. So, anyway... I'm more about uh, high current 